Bora da. Welcome to This is Sevens. Week two of the Dubai Sevens. Uh, very excited to have some crowds back this weekend. Spot on. <laughs> the Goat Goat King King is dead. He's not the Goat Goat King King. So we're down at the seventh stadium. It is the Monday after the first week of tournament. We managed to come through without any injuries. We've done a fairly light session, about 20 minutes with the SNC and the physio, into some skills and then some kickoffs. Hands in them. Two, three, GB. Two, three, GB. Very nice. Right. This is this is the beef, the, the All Blacks World Cup final for for Wales. All right. In the, you're in the Millennium. In the Millennium. <laughs> How you gonna do it? Ah! Ha 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 ha
we do it now, Paddy? Swimming races. AJ, wait. What did we do this morning? Did rugby. We had loose now. Better kick off your seat because um, it's a wee work done for us. A bit passing. Yeah. Boys feeling good. Temperature's coming down a wee bit. Yeah. Nice and cool. Very good. Sit in. Stroke Philip Allen. Come right, that's his name. Come right. Philip Pala V. Got out on both Philip Pala AJ Wash. Today. Oh, we've already done that. Oh, we can go away Turn the camera on. <laughs> you don't want to be on anymore? No. I want to work. I'm here for work. This is work. <laughs> 25 minutes late for you. When was fine? I've got him to you and you've got one minute, then I'm going to play in when he's got two minutes. <laughs> and to be fair, you're both back on. <laughs> Shambles. This wolves? is a well oiled machine. This. The Wolves is not a well oiled machine. It is. I think it is. Right. Oh, so this is what we paid for. You've got some farmer town, yeah. Find that mugs. It's good, it's tough, the heat, chasing each other around in the desert. It's actually the last training session as GB before ever, but definitely one last one before the weekend, so that was good. Ooh, integrity! So we're just back from the gym and we did a pretty similar session to what we did in the first week just knocked off one rep from each set this is just to account for the kind of the fatigue from the previous weekend uh, and everything in this gym session is geared just towards getting us nice and sharp ready for the weekend now we've got some ice baths just to keep us fresh uh, it's quite cold today in Dubai so it's gonna be freezing fresh fresh <laughs> Another team. Yeah. So it's our day off today in the second week. We are going to have a pretty chilled morning. We might go to the Burj Khalifa. Uh, and then this afternoon we've got a pretty cool expedition out into the desert in some Toyota cars and I think we're going to watch the sunset so I'm really looking forward to that. Borga, Beltigu, Dubai. <laughs> Time for a quick fire question with Morgan. Favourite place in the series? Hong Kong. Dubai. <laughs> Dubai company. Teed you up. Let's <laughs> start again. Start again. Uh, you gotta say Dubai, you know. Yeah. Hard work, isn't it? Oxy, favorite place in the circuit. Dubai. Favorite thing to do in Dubai. Kite Beach. 
What I can't eat specifically. Hayaki. Favourite drink at Cape Beach? Pistachio latte. Iced or unmissed? Iced. Iced. Very good. Favourite roommate in Dubai? Patrick Kelly. Favourite thing to do with your roommate? <laughs> so out his reviews. <laughs> Black Mirror? Black Mirror's been good. Favourite episode of Black Mirror? Um, White Christmas. White Christmas. Favourite thing to do at Christmas at home? <laughs> Here is Mr. Sustainable. <laughs> wow, LT, killing it. Don't sack them, Got any Cards with the boys playing rummy already. Boys getting wound up by each other. Sevens. Great until your man over here gets a bit sensitive. Are you sensitive or is he just swearing? Rules be the rules. Rob's just got a potty mouth. Yeah. Yeah, so because um, Cape Town wasn't happening this year, we've had two legs in Dubai. Um, First leg we did last weekend it was good, there's no crowds, good to get back out in Dubai but I think we're all really excited for this weekend because it's going to be a massive crowd and I think everyone's really excited for it. Um, yeah, We're coming to basically the end of an incredible journey, I've loved absolutely every minute of it but yeah we're, we're kind of framing this as the last dance, this uh, showdown in D Dubai, it's been an absolute privilege to represent GB on the series, um, I think first first team basically to do that um, and that's been an incredible privilege to do that and um, I think we're really looking forward to this weekend. <laughs> it's good. That's good. It's hard to think on the spot isn't it? Yeah, that's what we're doing. Matt, what are we doing? Gym bugging. Desert! What's this for then? Sleeping in the desert. Why are you bringing a pillow? <laughs> what? Why are you bringing a pillow? It's a loss. My shirt's a bit pre stocked. Pretty excited to see what the desert's got to offer. Hopefully, see some camels. Hopefully, get a ride off a few of them. And catch a sunset. Is it? It's a roll cage. This stuff. So many facts. Oh, wow, wow. You get a free house when you get married. And yeah. you get twenty-two thousand pounds for the wedding. Uh, well, you're spending twenty-two thousand pounds for your wedding. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's got a line for you, Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Yay! Oh, yes. 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 Right then, boss. Real. I knew you'd be happy with that. The petrol head loved it. Where the fuck is Dangerous, isn't it? Very, indeed. Fazil, top driver. Yeah.
Afternoon, we got out into the desert, uh, which is pretty cool because I've been here six times and never, never done something like that. So Robbie did some hard haggling with the with the people running the place and managed to get out there. Got a decent deal for us, so boys are pretty happy. And yeah, it was cool. Just got in amongst the sand dunes. Driver was going up and over them and off road, and then got the sunset, and then we had a camel ride, and then back home. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool afternoon, something, not something you do all the time. That was our day off, it was awesome. As Fonzo said, tomorrow we've got our captain's run, last training session before Tom start on Friday. So I think we're off to Dubai College tomorrow in the morning. Hopefully, nice sharp team, run them feet up for the rest of the day. So today's Thursday, tomorrow is the start of the Dubai 7 second leg, and it's a big one because crowds are back. This morning we've done a team run at the same time as the women's team. Everyone's looking nice and sharp, ready for the games tomorrow. Oh, Dele Shaz. Dele one. Ah. Sounds good. We just start hitting them four lines. Yeah, I've got nine, I've got nine, I've got nine. Go, 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 go. Tackle, 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 tackle. Lazy, 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 lazy. Sorry, 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 can I get clarity? We're going forward. We've got intent. We're hard to stop. we a pool recovery session and five minutes in the ice bath this afternoon. The rest of the time is going to be feet up until this evening. And we've got a really cool jersey presentation. Big tournament for us as it's the last one as GB sevens. For a lot of us, it's been quite a long process within this GB setup. So for this to be the last tournament, it is quite emotional. Yeah, how do you feel with it being the last one? Um, don't know. It's pretty surreal thinking it's all coming to an end. Um, thinking where we started with all the restrictions and lockdown and all the pressures of selection and the ups and downs, kind of brought like us as a group so close together. Um, uh, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's pretty emotional thinking that this is the last time that we'll play together. 
Um, and it's exciting. Like I'm excited to get back playing for Scotland, and that's going to be amazing. But like this group here has been such like this year has been so amazing. And yeah, just weird to think it's all coming to an end. We're literally playing for each other and for everything we've gone through over the last year. I'm quite excited to see how that comes out on the field. I think, uh, yeah, I think we'll go well this weekend. Two things I'm kind of buzzing about. One is the crowd's been back in, and I think that's part of the reason why we all love playing sevens. And then, yeah, being the last time with GB, like particularly for us two, it's been kind of completely up and down along the way, but playing with people like yourself, other boys from England, Scotland, even some of like my old mates coming back to play now in these two tournaments, I think it's just been amazing. So yeah, now I've loved the last like year, and yeah, I'm so excited for tomorrow. This year, been an amazing journey. I think one of the best things for me is just finishing with this group here. Um, it's a special group for me, playing with some of my best friends uh, from Scotland and um, some of my best new mates from Wales and England as well. Mainly, um, mainly Wales though, yeah. Uh, mainly Wales, yeah, of course. People moving on, going to different things. It's just a strange emotion that we might never be together again as a group. And there's guys that I've played all nearly 30 tournaments with every single tournament and you don't know when the next time you'll play with those guys again is or have the same sort of bond you have in a team so I guess we go out there this weekend and try and leave GB in as positive a place as possible and I think we've definitely picked it up and carried it forward again and I guess we'll try and leave it as good a place as possible this weekend.